everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and I'm going to introduce to you how to add enhanced e-commerce functionality tracking in your Google Analytics for your Magento 2 open source version. I'm only going to talk about the open source version because the Magento 2 commerce version, the paid enterprise version, already has this installed, so you don't need to do anything. You just need to configure it. But if you use open source and you want more tracking for Google Analytics, you're going to actually... Um, you know, this video will be helpful for you. Okay. So first of all, before I explain how to set it up, I want to show you what is an actually Google enhanced e-commerce. So by default, uh, just regular Google analytics e-commerce, uh, adds the transaction order information into the, the information in analytics. So for example, if I have here my mediums, my sources, I can see how many orders I had and how many. Uh, how much money, how much revenue, right? Um, but this is really the, the most basic part of it. So in, in Google Analytics e-commerce, all you do is you turn on the e-commerce. When you go here to the settings, excuse me, and you go to e-commerce settings, you just turn it on right here and that's it and you finish. And then you put some code on the success page and you basically say, this is what was ordered, this is the order, this is the order amount and some additional information, that's it. But if you want enhanced information, you need to do this step. So let me show you a little bit more about what enhances. So if you go to conversion and you go to e-commerce right here, you can have all these sections right here. So for example, you can see the funnel in the shopping behavior from visits, to product views, to add to carts, to checkouts, to actually order, to checking out, to actually order. And you can see more data here. You can see the checkout funnel, right? The checkout behavior, step one, two, three, within the checkout page. And you can see more information about your products, your products, the orders, the quantities, the average price, the product add to cart, all these additional information. It's really, really helpful. Okay. And so you have all this, so the order numbers and the amounts, and you also have some additional information like product lists, for example, in the search results, um, how did the products actually show and which products were purchased and et cetera. So you have a lot of extra data in enhanced e-commerce and more and more businesses are aware that they want more data to understand better what people are purchasing and where they're dropping. So this video is for you. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so number one, in order to install, you need an extension. You need some code that adds more functionality to Magento to actually um, provide the information. So in this video, in this case, we're going to use an extension by a third party called Welt Pixel, and they have their Magento 2 Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce. Now, they use Google Tag Manager for managing this, which has a lot of advantages, so I like to do this using Tag Manager to put inside the Google Analytics and then grab information from the page, et cetera. So I'll show you more about this. So in this case, they have a free and they have a paid version. In short, you can check out yourself. I'm gonna put this URL in, in the link. You can check which one you like. A, we've used both the free and the, and the paid, depending on different projects. Uh, but in this video, it's just gonna be the uh, free one. And the free one has a lot of functionality, but depending on what you actually need, you can figure out yourself, right? Uh, but if you have questions, of course, let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Okay, so, um, this video assumes that you already installed it on your machine. Um, they also assumes that you have a Google Tag Manager account you set up and you have a Google Analytics account already. If not, you can reference, just go to our, our um, YouTube channel and you can see how to set up all these things. Uh, we've done it before. Okay, so uh, once you install it, you actually, let me refresh the page right here. Um, you're in the back end. You actually have a section right here called Welt, right? And you're going to have a section here for uh, GTM settings. So now we're going to start setting it up. It's pretty simple. Um, so let's go ahead. Okay. So first of all, what we want to do, we want to just enable it really simple. Let's click on enable. Okay. Now when we enable this, we're going to have to put in the, the Google tag manager code. So if you go to your admin, you'll be able to get your code right here. So I'm going to copy this right here. This is my head. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to put the body tag, the body tags. This is just installing, making sure that all pages have your Google tag manager. You're loading your tag manager. Okay. This is the first thing. Now you have a lot of settings. I'm not going to cover it here because a lot of them work great by default. But for example, if you want to add brand to your products, you know, or you change your attribute system, you're going to have to do some small changes, but it works really well for very default, like Luma new Magentos. And if you need to upgrade based on your, you know, your analytics team, et cetera, then obviously you got to figure that out. Okay. 
So let's let's go here. And yeah, they have cool things like custom custom dimensions, customer ID, things like that. Okay. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this right here. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding Google Tag Manager code to um, my information right here. Okay, so let's go right here and let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go right here. Um, the save didn't work because I forgot to do this. Okay, so now you're gonna have to input some information about GTM. So you're gonna go to your GTM and you're gonna look at the URL right here, okay? So I'm going to click, I'm going to close this because I'm good. And when I go to the URL, I'm going to look for the part that says accounts and a number and containers and a number. And I'm going to I'm going to copy this uh, accounts number right here. I'm going to put it in the account ID and under the container, I'm going to move to the right. Containers are going to copy this number as well. Okay. Make sure you copy it correctly. Um, let me just double check that. Okay. So looks okay. Okay, so good. So now I copied this and then I'm gonna get my universal analytics. Now, this um, video only works with Google Universal Analytics. It's 2021 right now when I recorded this video and there's a, just a new universe, uh, sorry, Google Analytics version for this video. No one has made this yet, so there's no way to integrate yet with the Analytics 4. Um, so this is using Universal Analytics. If you watch this video, uh, just make sure that you have a universal. If not, in future, I'll update it with new ones once we can develop this or find the alternative. Okay. So how do you do that? You go and you go to the admin right here and you go to your tracking info and you just grab the UA dash, right? This is your tracking ID relevant to you. Now this, this site, I've set up one just for this demo site. So just so you know, okay, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to save it now. So that now I should be able to save it. Okay. So this is, this is the initial setting. I need to make sure that I have everything here. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom right here. Okay. And I'm going to go and I need to export. I need to set up some settings in my Google tag manager to make sure it's actually triggering Google analytics inside. So how do I do that? I go to the bottom to JSON export, right? And I'm going to go here and I'm going to one second public ID. Okay. So I need to put my GTM ID right here. This one. Okay. At the top of my page, I'm going to put this and I'm going to save for a second and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to take this information and give it to a Google tag manager to, to configure things for me automatically. Okay. So let's click on here and generate. Okay. It was generated successfully. You can download. Thank you. Okay, so now I have this uh, GTM export.json. Now I'm going to go to uh, Google Tag Manager. I'm going to go to the admin right here and I'm going to click on import container. Okay, and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to just select the JSON right here. Okay, and I'm going to do it into the existing workspace. I don't want to make a new workspace, but that's up to you. If you already have some information, you can do that. Okay, and I'm going to click on override. Okay. And this is my information. This is my workspace. I selected it. It's just going to tell me a summary before I do. There's 11 new tags and 12 new triggers. These are all the information that happened that uh, GTM needs to read code that we send on the pages, understand it, and then throw data to Google Analytics to add more enhanced data. Okay. So I'm going to click on confirm and should be okay. And now I have all these new things, all these workspace changes. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to submit. I'm going to publish it. So I'm going to call here GTM GA enhanced. So I'm just going to specify uh, in my changes, what did I do? So I can actually go back. Okay. Enhanced. Uh, and you, you might want to put some more information, but you have all this. So I'm going to click on publish. Okay, great. So now that I did this, now I should be able to start uh, using these things. So uh, one more thing I need to do right now is I need to configure my Google Analytics just to make sure that I'm tracking the, uh, the e-commerce side, right? So I'm going to go to my site. This is my information and I'm using in a universal and I'm going to click here on e-commerce settings right here. Okay. I'm going to turn on e-commerce and I'm going to turn on enhance. And if you have funnels, for example, in the checkout page, you want to uh, add step one, two, three, you're going to add the funnels. Now by default Magento, you're going to add here shipping 
and you can label them any way you want, of course. And then shipping method, right? First, select your shipping address, then select your shipping method, and then go pay. That's that's basically the idea. So we have payment and um, what is this? I wrote it down and billing. Okay, so this should be okay. Now I saved it. Okay, success. That's good. Okay, so now this don't um, this Google Analytics is actually. Uh, just a new site, right? So it's just for this video set. So I don't really have any traffic. But if I go here and I refresh my cache, I should have it triggering right now. Okay, so let's just refresh the cache right here. After we set up all the configuration, we should have new full page caching. And then when I visit the page, I'm going to check via real time that first of all, GTM is working. And then obviously, Google, Google Analytics is tracking information. Okay, so let's finish it with the refresh one second okay and I'm gonna refresh the page right here and I'm gonna make sure if I refresh the page Google Analytics is actually tracking via real time I want to make sure my initial part is actually set up correctly okay okay good so now we have our first visitor visit to the home page if I go to for example let's just say this men's page you're gonna see that it actually tracks so 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 far we did we did everything correctly okay Okay, good. So now it changed the men. So I know actually I'm tracking correctly this. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to try to make an order. Okay. So I want to try to make an order. Let me just find a product. Okay. I'm going to find the product. I'm going to add to cart. Okay. And so now I'm acting as a customer, right? I'm just going to make an order. I'm going to sign in and try to make a quick order right here. Okay. And this is just a test site. So don't worry about that. Okay, great. And I'm going to start proceeding to checkout. I'm going to make an order. So I'm following the steps. I added this product hero hoodie to my cart and I'm proceeding. I'm just going to put the business information right here and select my shipping method, for example, this one, right? So shipping was step one, shipping method was step two, if you remember that, and then check out, right, paying. So let's just say I do the check or money order um, and I place the order. So if I place the order successfully, each page, this extension will put some extra code that Google Tag Manager will pick up, convert it to what it needs and send data to Google Analytics. That's exact, like the very simple high level um, description of how it works, okay? So I made an order and I have order number five, zero, 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 five, okay? So now, um, if I did everything successfully, I can go to my normal acquisition and I can see my orders. And of course I can see, okay? Of course I can see all the transaction information and everything. Now, one thing that's very, very important to note is that when you make an order, for example, the data is not real time. It's not gonna happen immediately. It happens between a few seconds to a few minutes, two more, and we just set up Google Analytics, so it's gonna take more time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the, the video right now, and I'm gonna rejoin once the data comes, and I'll show you the last steps of how everything looks here. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I'm back. So uh, one day passed by, I made another order and I wanted to show you how it looks. So I'm just looking at today's order, for example. Um, so what I did is I went to e-commerce right here and the conversions tab and I'm looking overview and I can see my order here. I can see the amount of money in the order, the conversion rate based on visitors to orders, to transactions. I can see some basic information. And so when I go down into the funnels, the shopping behavior, you can see I have visits, two product views, two add to cards, two checkouts, and obviously to orders, which they call transactions. And you can see the checkout behavior inside the checkout, shipping to shipping method, to payment and billing, to sessions with transactions. And you can see things like the orders, the products, right? Product performance would show the products that was ordered and sales performance would show the actual order number and you can dig uh, deep in. And that's it. So all the information in Enhance e-commerce is here. It's the most basic information that you can have for Enhanced. 
Um, obviously, you can add more things, but that's it. So hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about Enhance, about using analytics, about Magento, about how to set up the uh, extension or anything else, just comment on the YouTube channel, subscribe. I'll be happy to answer more and more questions and do a lot more videos. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it.